everybody, my name is Blake Jenner and the Indie Insider rocks. Well, uh, you know, I came to surprise uh, Robert. I knew he was doing this whole thing and, and uh, I wanted to visit him today, but I figured it'd be a good surprise. I spoke to Alana, his assistant on the phone. I was like, all right, I'm gonna come surprise him. So I surprised him. You did. Um, but yeah, I mean, with everything going on, I mean, I have Robert to thank for everything. He's been like a second father and like my guardian angel with everything. I mean, he's been just, just been looking out for me, whether it deals with agents or managers or auditions, you know, he, they're, they're working on sides or, you know, I'm writing a script right now as well on top of being on Glee and he's just been, I can go to him for ideas and we, we talked the other night about it and it's just... He's just the best. He's oh. he's he's the man of a thousand of a thousand. <laughs> Remember no, that? No, no. <laughs> um, he, he's that's ridiculous. But he's really he's great. He really is an awesome person. It was so nice in the Glee Project to, well, obviously to meet Blake, but to have Blake win and then not only be so talented but be so nice. Finding a uh, a guy who can play a football player, be masculine, can sing, dance, is very unusual. And that's why I think you know Blake is just. Um, is pretty extraordinary, but he's uh, he's also, I think, first and foremost, just such a good actor, and that just makes me look good. And the other day he had a crying scene on Glee, and he cried every take of his take and every take of Corey's close-up, you know, that, that, that Blake wasn't even in, just to give it to, to give Corey something. And then, but at the same time, is the most hilarious person I've ever met and teaches improv and mm. very funny. So now he's, you're gonna see big things from him. Oh, the name is Gabier, and it's about uh, these three friends. They just graduated high school, and they're the ones who stayed home that didn't go to college. And you get to see, like, kind of like their journey and like what what happens on the course of this whole gap year, and all that stuff. And it's really funny, and it's it's got a lot of heart, and it's got a you know, it's 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 just I think it's a good combination of of everything. And when when it when it's when it's being shot and all that stuff, it's just gonna come together awesome. It's not like your typical. Um, I mean, I, I think because anybody can compare it with like Super Bad or, mm. or, or any of those, but I think the difference is is that there's been there's been films about you know high school. You know, we were talking about this the other day. His wife pointed this out that mm. there's been films about high school. There's been films about college, but there's never been films about the in between about those people. The people that, that just, are lost. Yeah, the people that are lost. So this is gonna be an awesome tale of that. I found out about the uh, the Glee Project from uh, watching the Glee Project season one, and I was hoping that there was going to be a season two, and then it then there was a season two. So I, I auditioned. I went into uh, they had in office auditions. They had New York auditions, LA auditions, online auditions. So I went went to his office, and here I was thinking, oh, you know, I've auditioned before for other things. I'll just I'll just come in because here I was working at a parrot shop, and I was like, all right, let's let's get some time off. Uh, hold on, parrots, I'll be right back. So I went. And I sang, I sang for uh, Alex Newman and Alana Baldwin, and it was it was awesome. It was really really fun, but I didn't think much of it because you know you go on a million auditions and, and you know maybe maybe you'll get a callback for three. So I got a callback and I was like, oh, this is awesome. The second I get to the callback, there's just a million people just singing, 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 and I've never been like a singer. Like I've sang in the shower and like in my car when nobody's watching, but to sing like full out and to have like training, it's just you know I just didn't think I had a shot. Then I got the call from him on Skype that uh, that I got on the show, and I was like, "What? That's crazy!" And I told him that because uh, he set it up to be this whole sad thing. He was like, mm. "Oh, Blake, you know this and that, this and that. I'm sorry. I, I think you're so good, but you know you're on the show." And I was just like, "Whoa!" And uh, I told him he deserved an Oscar for that. <laughs> and um, but yeah, and then winning the Glee Project was amazing. I mean, other friends of mine have booked other shows, and I was like, oh, how was it booking your show? And they're like, oh, it was awesome. I got the call, and I was so happy. How was it getting Glee? I was like, well, confetti fell, and it was, <laughs> it was amazing. When, when Blake first came to Los Angeles, I was his first audition. He was 18, had been here a couple weeks, hadn't you? Yeah, and I auditioned for Blaine. For, for Darren Chris's role. Mm -hmm. And so, and he said I was so nice to him and everything. And then the next time he came in for something. For like Rick the Stick or something. Yeah. And he was like, hi, it's nice meeting you. And no, like, but then I, 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 said, oh! I remember everybody, but I, yeah. but then oh! I remembered, then I remembered, I remembered. Well, the 
Glee project has changed my life in a million ways. One way is that I'm not eating ramen every day um, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So that's that's cool. Um, I'm eating a little bit healthier. But I mean, it's just, I mean, never in a million years. I, I've watched Glee with my brother every Tuesday when when I was in high school when it first came out. You know, season one, season two. I was always watching it, and then just to be on it. Uh, it's just a dream come true. I never thought I'd be on Glee. I was always hoping that I'd score some acting jobs because I, I love acting and I wanted to pursue it since I was a little kid, but I never thought I'd be on Glee. So it just changed my life completely because how many people get to say that their dream completely came true, like the, the exact show, the exact role you wanted. It's just amazing. One way that Glee has changed Blake's life is that he's now a CAA. I mean, you know, that's that's one big that's thing. That's definitely a big that's thing. That's a big thing. <laughs> yeah. And moving into an apartment and, mm -hmm. you know, being flown here and there. I mean, all, this, all the fun stuff that comes with oh, yeah. the celebrity because he put in the hard work from the time he was little. I yeah. mean, I've never met anybody as driven as he is. Oh my gosh, you should tell. The, the, this is a hilarious story, which is not a good casting. I mean, the casters probably shoot me for, for doing it, but... but Oh, the whole yeah. Michael Taffy? Yeah. Um, yeah, so when I was, when I was uh, you know, out here, when I first came out here, you know, I had an agent, I had a manager, but I mean, I've always been the type of person that wanted like the hand, to be hands-on with everything. I didn't want to wait around for someone to, to get me opportunities. I also wanted to like do it myself. So I kind of made up this manager. And his name was Michael Taffy, and uh, I'm, I set up an email and everything, and I'd call and pitch myself, and I'd just be like, oh, I got this great kid. I've got this great kid. His name's Blake Jenner, and he's like a next star, and he's this and that, and this and that. He's just perfect. You should definitely meet him. You know, sometimes I got, I got, <laughs> I would call for feedback on auditions. I'd call to, to pitch myself. Sometimes the, the feedback wasn't always good. <laughs> so on the inside, my heart was breaking. They would be like, oh, yeah, you know, I was really disappointed with him and his performance. And on the outside, I have to be this professional guy like, oh, okay, yeah, 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 for sure. But on the inside, I'm like, yeah, yeah. I said sure. it's a terrible thing for, for, I just find it so hilarious. But he also, that my favorite is that he, he posed as somebody British. Oh, and went yeah. to the audition and looked up a little city in case they asked me questions <laughs> about so they wouldn't know a lot about it. And then he did the audition with an American accent, like he speaks. Because I figured, you know, if a British guy comes in and does an American accent, everybody's like, whoa, this guy's real. This guy's the real deal. So I came in with an accent, um, and I had, like, this little town that I even looked up a school, the street that I lived on and everything, in case they asked. And luckily they didn't. But, um, but yeah, so I did that, and, I, and then I just started with my whole, you know, the way I'm talking right now. And then they were like, wow, like, we don't even sense a British accent when you, when you speak your, when you your American callback. accent and I got a call back for it and it was, it was such a funny funny story he said he also this is a good thing for a cast he said he would walk out of the audition room and then pretend like he had to tie his shoe so he could listen at the door to hear what was being said. I've, I've learned all kinds of, of oh, tricks yeah. as a casting director from the actor cats out of the bag nobody can use those now <laughs> <laughs> Oh, as my manager, okay, this is how Michael Taffy would sing. Um, I've got a client <laughs> named Blake, and he's perfect for this role, so come see him and let him go. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, my ultimate goal as an actor is definitely, you know, I totally want to win an Oscar one day, and I totally, you know, but I definitely want to make my own stuff. I've always wanted to, um, always wanted to act, but I've always wanted to write and maybe direct one day, but definitely, definitely just be involved in creating something that I love and that I'm very passionate about. You know, if I write something, I definitely want to see it come to life, and, and I definitely want to play a role in it and, and also, you know, take part in casting the other roles, and I just want the hands-on experience for everything, because I, I think making your own material like creating your own film or television show that's just like the ultimate ultimate high so i totally want to do that that's my ultimate goal